Welcome to this installment of Clarifying Tax Situations with attorney and CPA David W. Clossing. Do I have any risk of being criminally prosecuted for tax crimes where all I have done is sign the merited filing joint return? It's very important to understand that if you've signed a married filing joint return with your spouse and tax fraud has occurred on that return, that the government's gonna have a few questions. One of them being, what did you know about the tax fraud taking place on that return? I've had many clients try and argue with me that you know, they didn't know anything about what went on the return and all they did was sign it. Well, let me go through a hypo and show you how potentially you could be at risk for criminal prosecution as well as your spouse where tax fraud has taken place on a married filing joint return. So consider the following hypo. The husband typically prepares a married filing joint return on TurboTax with very little involvement from the wife. The wife typically just signs the return when husband says so. Husband decides unilaterally without discussing with his wife that he wants to take further steps to reduce his taxable income. Since husband is a W-2 employee and has run out of ideas for additional unreimbursed employee expenses, which have typically been fraudulently overstated in the past, he's also fraudulently overstated Schedule A itemized deductions. He decides, well, what am I going to do here besides those two things to reduce tax liability? He goes out and he invents a paper-only hypothetical business with the idea that he can write off more of his personal expenses as business expenses to further reduce their tax liability. In anticipation of paying less taxes in December of year one, husband takes his friends golfing for the week and purchases a 911 Porsche curb weight 3,153 pounds. The husband titles the Porsche under his consulting business. And in preparing year one taxes, in year two, he writes off the golfing as 100% deductible under the idea that it's business promotion. Then he claims section 179 accelerated depreciation on the Porsche, asserting that the vehicle weighed more than 6,000 pounds so that his section 179 wouldn't be limited and he wrote off the entire $89,400 purchase price on husband and wife's joint return. Wife dutifully just signed the return. In year four, where husband and wife, they get audited over very sensitive Schedule C losses that seem to magically offset husband and wife's ample W-2 income. The IRS auditor quickly realizes that there's no real consulting business and that the deductions are merely personal in nature with no business purpose. The IRS stops the audit and refers the issue to the Criminal Investigation Division. Let me ask you this, in this situation, does the wife have exposure for possible criminal tax prosecution as well as the husband? Well, the short answer to this is yes. She signed the returns under penalty of perjury. Every return contains a jurat next to both husband and wife's signature lines on the return. It reads as follows. Under penalties of perjury, I declare that I have examined this return and the accompanying schedules and statements, and to the best of my knowledge and belief, they are true, correct, and complete. What's also interesting here is that if you have a paid preparer, they also make the same jurat when they sign as a paid preparer. The simple fact here is that a subsequent divorce will not protect the wife from possible criminal prosecution. She filed returns and signed returns, married filing joint, and this, this is the issue. So if this is your situation, if all you did was merely sign a return and later on it's determined that fraud has occurred on that return, you need to be very prudent in the actions that you take subsequent to learning this. You need to hire qualified criminal tax defense counsel to defend you. You may want to do an innocent spouse claim. That has ramifications. I wouldn't do anything without considering all your options. Also, if you happen to be a family law attorney, I need you to be very careful in evaluating the ramifications of any on the record incriminating financial disclosures that may have come forth on the record in a marital dissolution. 
you as counsel should use an abundance of caution including the possibility of seeking a consultation from a qualified criminal tax defense counsel yourself before concluding that an innocent spouse protection will truly protect your client. It's very important to realize that innocent spouse claims may not necessarily protect you from criminal prosecution. If there is evidence that a tax crime has occurred and you had any involvement in committing that tax crime, you have risk as I've discussed elsewhere on this tape. Frankly, anytime there's unreported income, deductions that are claimed you're not entitled to, credits that are claimed you're not entitled to on a married filing joint return where fraud has occurred, both parties who sign that return have exposure, and an instant spouse claim doesn't guarantee a pass on criminal prosecution.